There might be some significant changes to Quince and mission stacking in general in the 2.4 update, so let's have a look at it. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Leap Dangerous with Down to Earth Astronomy. We're here again on the 2.4 beta server, as you can see, and we're here in Miller's port. The reason why we're out here in uh, in Quince is because we're testing out the new um, missions stacking things they've been doing and also the changes they've made to missions in general. Now, the interesting part in the patch note, if you just find it here, is the part here that says that ship kills and actions to complete planetary hack and disable missions will now only contribute to a single mission. This will be the earliest mission accepted. So what does that mean? That means that if you have multiple missions with the same target, whether that is killing a ship or scanning a beacon on the surface of a planet, you will now, um, doing that action will now only contribute to one mission, which is the earliest mission, meaning the oldest mission you accepted. And then you will have to scan again, and again, and again, and again, and again. But I'll go over some, there's some details. We'll try to test it out on the beta server, how it is right now. Um, and I'll talk about what I think actually will happen when this, this releases into, um, into the game. So um, right now I've stacked up two missions. I'm just going to try and, um, and board up for a bit so we can get uh, a few more missions. Okay, it took a while to get a... a, a this is actually a pretty, uh, pretty crap board to be honest, but to get a board with at least a couple of missions. And uh, I wouldn't be too, too worried about that. Um, We've seen that in other patches or other beta tests before where the missions would be very hard to get. They wouldn't spawn as often, they wouldn't refresh as often. Um, but once it carried over to the live server, it wasn't really a problem. So so I wouldn't be too worried about that. But what we're going to do for now is we still have the two missions here in our transactions. And we're just going to confirm that we can actually still stack over the three mission limit by completing a whole board. I'm just going to accept that and accept that. And we should now get them here. Indeed, we have stacked up to the five missions. So from here on, what should happen if uh, if the game functions as it says in the patch note, we should now go down to the planet, we should scan a beacon, and um, and then only one mission should complete. So let's get out here, out of here, and let's get out to the planet, and let's see how it actually works. So now we are here, we are planet side, we are at the location. And as you can see here, I still have all my missions and they are not completed. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to scan this data point. And, um, and this is where we would expect only one mission to complete. But we're also going to talk about what might happen when this carries over. So as you can see, there we got a lot of messages and indeed all the missions did complete. Now, that's not what it describes in the patch note, but that's something that I think most people miss. That is, let's imagine that you scan this point, data point and it only com completes one mission. And you think, oh, I have to go up, I have to find another site, land, land, land again, it's going to take forever. No, because what actually happens down here is that for every mission, there spawns a new beacon. They just spawn on top of each other. Look at this beacon now. It looks weird. There's one down here that's currently retracted. But up here, I should still be able to target that one. And I can scan the next one. So... Sure, it's going to be a little slower, and it's going to be difficult if you get a site where there's a trespass zone. See, now this one retracts, but there's still another one. You just target the next one and scan it. So, it will be a little slower. We will have to be a little bit more careful with the trespass zone, try to scan it from outside the trespass zone. But unless they remove this multiple stacking of... Um, so, now we've got the last one. Um, but there's not, there are more of them over there in the back. Um, so we can just go over and we can scan the next one if we wanted to. And this is going to be the same story over here where they have multiple of them stacked on top of each other. So even if, even when they correct it so that only one scan will complete one mission, we will of course have to do more scans. But there are other beacons are available down here. They are on site. They are stacked. So unless they remove this multiple stacking of beacons as well, um, I don't think this is going to harm Quince in, uh, in, in any... I mean, it's going to harm it a little bit. It's going to be slower, for sure. Um, but that's something we'll have and wait and see what actually happens once we get over to the live server. So, um, I'm just going to go back. And by the way, if you're more interested in this in this method, I will put a link in the more info icon somewhere above the video. Um, so you can click that if you want to see this uh, method described in more detail. But for now, I'm just going to go back to the station and we can hand in our missions and collect our reward.
at the station there's nothing really uh interesting about that we're just gonna go in and we're gonna hand in our missions one at a time and collect the money that we made just as we normally would there we go all missions are now handed in and we're done so to sum this up, in uh, from my point of view, that de it depends a lot what's going to happen with quins and mission stacking in general. If it's going to be more difficult to get um, to get a good board, then it's going to hurt quins. It's going to hurt quins a lot. That's what's going to hurt it. The stacking, um, the fact that you have to scan several times, I th don't think that's what's going to uh, to hurt quins because unless they're going to remove the multiple stacking of the uh, uh, the beacons. You can just scan more beacons and you would most likely be able to do that from outside the trespass zone if you are very careful or just drive in and drive out. So it will hurt a little bit in, in terms of income, but I still think uh, that Quint is going to be a very viable option after the uh, after the 2.4 update. So um, that's it. I hope you liked this video. Hope you found it useful, informative. If you did, give it a like. Consider subscribing to the channel, maybe even becoming a Patreon. And also next time, I'll see you guys in space.